Food security is a growing concern in our world. And this cutting edge passive solar greenhouse has the ability to provide fresh, nutrient dense produce for a family year round. This is important because in places like Alberta, harsh is hardly the word for our winters. And realistically, winter takes up more than half of our year. However, we know this and we've engineered this structure to defy those conditions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how these passive solar greenhouses work and why these things are absolutely incredible. But first, I'm gonna tell you something that might shock you. You can design one of these. I don't know your background or education or training, but we believe anyone can and should be able to learn how to design a passive solar greenhouse. I'm gonna tell you more about this amazing technology, and then I'll tell you how you can learn to create one of your own. I'm Rob Avis, co-founder of Verge Permaculture, professional engineer and expert on passive solar greenhouses. I'm gonna take you through everything that we've learned through designing and building these structures, and I'll help you find some clarity on how much they might cost you to build for yourself. Let's take a look. You might be wondering, why go to the trouble of designing and building a passive solar greenhouse like this? Well, if food security is important, and you live in a climate that gets as few growing days as we get here, which is as little as 100, then having a greenhouse like this means that you can extend the growing season of your garden so you're able to grow more food for a longer period of time, but it also means that you can have a diverse diet, meaning that you don't have to eat the exact same thing every day all year round. And even better than that, you can grow food that costs almost nothing to grow. How do we do this? First off, we have got to optimize the insulation on all four walls to minimize thermal energy loss through the cold season. We do this by creating well-insulated walls on the east, west, north, and south side of the building. Two, we've innovated on how we collect the thermal energy inside of the greenhouse. And we do this with a solar wall. The solar wall is a black perforated metal that heats up when the sun is shining on it, and it allows us to warm the air, which is what we use to transfer the energy from the greenhouse below grade into the soil. This allows us to move energy from the summertime into the wintertime, which allows the greenhouse to stay well above freezing all winter long. Next, we design an optimized glazing surface on the south side, which is typically polycarbonate. The polycarbonate maximizes the solar radiation coming into the greenhouse while minimizing the precious thermal energy leaving the greenhouse. This allows our plants to be healthy as they get enough sun, but it also allows us to preserve that thermal energy that we've stored all summer long within the growing space, which is one of the main factors that allows us to have a productive growing system throughout the year. Lastly, as I've alluded to, we have something called a climate battery. And this is a unique piece of technology that we use to store the surplus thermal energy from the summer and transition it into the winter. The way the climate battery works is when the greenhouse gets above 21 degrees Celsius, a fan turns on, which sucks the thermal energy at the top of the greenhouse underground, about six feet below the surface, the growing surface where we're growing our plants. And over the course of the spring, summer, and fall, that air is pushed underground, storing thermal energy and warming up that soil which will be stored in the ground for up to six months. That thermal energy is then drawn back out of the soil using the exact same air system when the greenhouse drops below 12 degrees Celsius, which prevents it from going below zero and keeping an optimal growing temperature so that our plants are able to grow even through the winter time. How much food can a greenhouse like this produce? The average Canadian grocery bill is 16,200 per year for a family of four, a cost that only seems to be ever increasing. This 500 square foot greenhouse could grow all of your greens year long and most of the hot season crops that you need and love for three to four seasons. That's amazing. You can have the best veggies that you've ever had growing throughout the winter when these products are at their most expensive in the grocery store. We have one of these greenhouses and we rarely buy vegetables. This thing can really cut your grocery bill in half and will continue to save you money each and every year. When a passive solar greenhouse gets built on your property, it becomes the hub of your food growing system. And there are all sorts of other multifunctional elements that we can add into those greenhouses to make it incredibly productive year round. One of the things that I love to put in these greenhouses are wood-fired hot tubs, saunas, both of which can actually add additional thermal energy while you also get the benefit of having a hot tub and a sauna in there. But we can also add things like commercial kitchens, root cellars, a meat cave, or even a wine storage cave so that you can store your wine for long periods of time. These are ultimately multifunctional buildings 
that you can use at various times of the year for all sorts of different activities. One thing that can happen when you live in a cold climate like this is you can get something called seasonal affective disorder. And these greenhouses can be incredible opportunities to create therapy for yourself in the middle of the winter by hanging up a hammock and sun tanning on a sunny day where it wouldn't necessarily be possible to get the same solar exposure inside of a house. How does it compare to a conventional hoop house? Let me give you a scenario between buying a hoop house or building one yourself. Our first 200 square foot passive solar greenhouse in Calgary cost roughly $6,000 in materials. However, a student of mine recently built a slightly smaller greenhouse for close to 3,000. There are many ways to build these structures and if you're creative, I have seen students collect materials and put them up for almost nothing. A greenhouse like this one can range anywhere from eighty dollars to $120,000. The hoop house kit that I'm standing in front of uses pipe frames and poly and costs around $3,000 and is roughly the same square footage as the passive solar greenhouse we were just standing in front of and is not built to be used in the winter time. Instead, it's used to extend our growing season and get a little bit more production out of a small garden. But for argument's sake, let's say that you wanted to heat this thing. It would literally cost thousands of dollars to heat it here in our crazy cold winter. And you'd have to do it for at least six months of the year since we only get about 100 frost-free days. This is only possible in a scenario where you've got access to a functioning grid or reliable source of fuel. On the other hand, with this passive solar greenhouse, besides your initial building costs, you can either run it with no additional heat if you wanna run it for three seasons, or if you want to grow throughout the winter, a small heater will ensure that it stays above freezing no matter what is going on outside. A thermostat controls the fans for the climate battery which stores heat underground. The climate battery stores energy when there is an excess of heat in the greenhouse and it extracts it to keep the building warm when there is need for extra heat. The climate battery goes into heating mode when the greenhouse drops below 12 degrees Celsius, which is perfect for warm season crops like tomatoes and grapes. This is incredible produce that's always available and will also help drive down the grocery bill each month. All these features from the design to the cost to run to the ability to have food production throughout the year just makes these passive solar greenhouses incredible. And I made the promise to you at the beginning of this video that anyone can learn to design this. But if you're gonna start this journey, you wanna know that you're working with the best possible experts in the field who can prevent you from making expensive mistakes. We've put together the most comprehensive and authoritative course anywhere in the world. It's live online and we give you the opportunity to interact with both your instructors and other fellow designers who are going through the same process as you. It's designed for anyone from the average homeowner to professional builder and contractor to learn how to design passive solar greenhouses of any complexity and scale. And by the end of the course, you'll design your first greenhouse. We walk you through every step of the way and give you the tools, resources, and answer your questions as you require. If you're interested in designing a passive solar greenhouse, we're teaching a live online course in March, unlike anything else available in the world. You'll have all the support you need to design your own greenhouse, whether you're a property owner or professional builder, and you'll complete your first passive solar greenhouse design. Visit the link at Verge Permaculture below to learn more.